So as you can see, you have in this position the biceps and the triceps. Okay, as the arm curls, the bicep is contracting. That's why you're starting to see it mount up. Here, the tricep is relaxed, is extended. When the arm goes down, the, bice, the tricep then contracts and the bicep becomes relaxed. So as you go back and forth, it's contracting and relaxing. The muscles work in pairs. Okay? Without the tricep, he would not be able to bring that arm back down. The bicep would stay and um, contract it. But because the tricep contracts, it brings it back down as the bicep relaxes. And as you can see in the picture there, okay, you have, again, the example with the bicep and the tricep. Okay? Contracting, relax. Um, sometimes you may see it in terms of flexions and extensions, where the bicep is a flexor, if, okay, to flex something inward. Okay, the tricep is extender. Okay, it goes out. Okay, that's our and that is our skeletal muscles. Okay, that do that. Where smooth muscle is going to be in the organs. So not only do we have the flexors and extensors in the arms, we also have them in the legs. So your hamstring muscles enable you to flex your knee, and your quads enable you to extend your knee. So, Mr. Maxwell, what are we looking at here? So as you see in the legs, you have it in a relaxed position. Okay, as they go upward, the muscles contract. You can see the musculature. Then when it goes back down, it is now relaxed. Okay, the muscle, you see, extends down. Here you have tendons that attach the muscle to the foot. And that's why you're able to move upward and get that in the tendons flex. The well, tendons connect here with the flexing of the muscle and then back down to its relaxed position. Remember, tendons attach the muscle to the bone. Ligaments attach the bone to other bones. Okay, So that's how muscles work in pairs.